this is Calimara here and no, it's not Calamari. Welcome back to my channel or if you're new to the pond, go ahead and take a dive. You might like it here. I hope you guys had a fun New Year's Eve, however you chose to spend it. Because contrary to popular belief, there is no one right way to spend your New Year's. All that matters is that it makes you happy. And I know, I know, I'll talk about the elephant in the room. His name is Jeff. Oh, right, what do you think of my new look? Also, check this out. BAM! New background too. I commissioned this adorable piece from Jayla underscore Kara on Twitter. Thanks to her, I now have a proper pad fit for a semi-aquatic YouTuber. So big shout out to her. Thank you so much for making my new year plans possible. The link to her profile is in my description if you want to check her out. I wanted to start this year off with a bang, so I thought, why not start the new year with a new me? It's something I've been meaning to do for a while, but never really found the time for. I'm the kind of person who really thrives on change, so I feel as though I've fallen a bit into a slump last year. I was really at a crossroads about my plans for the future. I was trying to process what I should be doing, figuring out what I want to do, and deciding what I am going to do. I'm very fortunate to have a loving family that supports me in whatever I choose to do and I really wouldn't be where I am doing what I'm doing without them. So thank you so much to my family if you're watching this and for now, this is what I choose. YouTube really makes me happy. It's always been a secret dream of mine ever since I was a kid that I genuinely never thought I would be able to pursue one day and I'm very glad I decided to take that plunge when I did. Because in that time, I ended up rediscovering myself. I was letting myself enjoy the things I like without worrying about what other people think of me and just being true to myself. And after that process, I wasn't identifying with my avatar design and assets anymore, so I decided, why not change it? As a redesign channel, I thought it would be fun to kick off the new year by redesigning myself to show the growth and changes I've gone through. Something that feels truer to who I am now. This is actually the first time in a while I've felt excited about the new year. So I thought it might be fun to go over some of my new year's resolutions, as well as telling you guys a little bit more about myself. If you are an avid viewer of my channel, you would know that I try not to talk about myself very much. At least not about things beyond my profession or education. I mostly discuss my designs and the topics of my videos, but for this particular design, I'm gonna have to open up a bit more because this design has a lot of elements that are personal to me. And I think it's a nice change for this year to get to know each other better. So without further ado, let's get on with the video! So let me tell you guys about my design. It's become a bit of a running joke that people tend to misspell or mispronounce my name as Calamari because it looks and sounds so similar. The inspiration for my name is that it's actually a combination of my first and middle name. I'm not gonna tell you what it is just yet, but it is a funny coincidence that it ended up sounding so similar to Calamari. Because of that, I decided to lean into the water theme with my intro, welcoming you to the pond, and then creating an open species, but not really because you need to be subscribed to me to make one, that is semi-aquatic. In the end, water just became a part of my brand, so why not incorporate that more into my design? My hair is longer now than when I designed that avatar, and I actually like this current length I have. So I also included that in my new design. Plus, I have fringes now, and I'm really happy with them, so that was also very satisfying to include. Initially, I was just making it accurate to my real hair, but I decided I didn't want to pull any punches. I wanted to do something fun and whimsical, something thematic, but what? I usually like to curl the ends of my hair for special occasions, so I thought, why not do that, but make it look like tentacles? But instead of a squid, because I am not calamari, I took inspiration from the Dumbo octopus, which is one of my favorite animals because I can never resist the specific genre of animals that are tiny, water-dwelling invertebrates with ears. 
So naturally, my avatar also needed cute little fin ears just like the Dumbo octopus. Because the head area still looked a bit empty, I thought it would be cute to add bead accessories which fit perfectly because they also look like eyes and it kind of looks like I have an octopus on my head. For this particular piece though, I am going to be a sea bunny, which is a real and adorable species of sea slug, also a water dwelling invertebrate that has ears like a rabbit. Because 2023 is the year of the rabbit. And fun fact, the rabbit is my Chinese zodiac. So fingers crossed that this is going to be my year. And by that, I mean I am hoping to reach 100k subscribers this year and become verified, which is genuinely a dream milestone for me and it's one of my new year's resolutions. So if you haven't subscribed yet and you enjoy watching my videos, please subscribe. It's completely free and you could say you were here before 100k. So with the hair covered, the next thing I wanted to change was the outfit. I've always fancied myself an academia type girl. I'm definitely a bookworm and I spent a majority of my university life studying and revising, so much so that I didn't even know what events or festivals were happening on campus half the time, most of the time. It genuinely felt like I was on a completely separate island from the rest of the university population. I also like the kind of clothes you would see being worn by a Ghibli character. Maybe because I secretly want to live in a Ghibli movie. So I wanted to do something flowy and comfy and kind of nerdy. I wanted puffy flowy sleeves because they're super comfortable and dress shirts are abundant in my wardrobe because I think I look nice and tidy in them and they make me feel confident. So I decided to combine the two. One of my favorite accent pieces are vests because they keep me nice and warm without the extra bulk that a coat or jacket would add. Now, IRL, I would pair that look with some nice culottes and my favorite ankle boots and it really ties the look together. Though I incorporated the ankle boots, I wanted something more whimsical and playful for the bottoms. Initially, I went for a long flowy skirt, but it didn't look quite right to me. I think it was because the top already had long sleeves, so to balance it out, I went for a tennis skirt instead, which is another staple in my wardrobe, and I think that looks much better. Once I was happy with the design, it was time to play around with the colors. I definitely wanted to keep the rose gold color palette of my old design, but it does feel very one tone after a while. So to switch things up, I wanted to add more splashes of color that would break up the monotony. The easy choice here is baby blue, of course. It's a complementary color to pink, which creates a very nice contrast. I initially did have a bit of blue in my previous design, but it was still very pink dominant and adding more of it would create more variety so that the overall design looks fresh. It also helped me reconcile my tenuous relationship with the color blue. And you're probably thinking, how does one have a complicated relationship with a color? Well, long story short, when I was 8 or 9 years old, a kid I was beefing with gave me presents out of the blue. Turns out, he actually had a crush on me and our beef was extremely one-sided on my part because being a child, he probably just didn't know how to articulate his feelings while I genuinely thought we were in a blood feud. He also included a note with his presence which said, I got you everything in blue because I know that blue is your favorite color. And that is absolutely adorable that he did that. But being a child with a tiny peanut brain, I got very upset because my favorite color at the time was actually red and how dare he assume my before. So I straight up told him I hated his gifts and threw it on the ground. I sincerely hope that I didn't cause that boy too much childhood trauma and I sincerely hope that he did eventually find a nice girl that would appreciate his gifts instead of being mad at it. And don't worry because that experience has deeply affected me as well. Because after that, I was determined to hate the color blue and romance. But you know what? I'm 23 now and although I'm still working on that romance part, 
I do like the color blue and I'm not about to let my child self's pride stop me from liking it. I could probably do a full story time about my delinquent child days, but perhaps that's a topic for another video. And that's actually my second New Year's resolution. I want to learn to animate and make animated story times. Jaden Animations is a huge inspiration of mine, and animating funny and interesting parts of my life, like she does, has always been something I've always wanted to do. But as you might know, Animation is an extremely large time investment to learn and to create. I'll basically be starting from zero with animation, but this year I really want to make that time to learn. Aside from blue, I'm also using yellow for small accents to really make the details pop. I think my main inspiration for this new color palette is actually pink sand beaches, like the one in Lombok. I use gradients to make the transition of one article of clothing to the next look like waves and sea foam crashing onto the pink sand, while the yellow is the sunshine. Thematically, it just fits so well with my roots, coming from an island nation and spending most of my life in coastal cities. I grew up in Jakarta, moved away from the coastline for a while, then ended up pursuing higher education in the Gold Coast. I don't think there are any color combinations that could truly reflect me, my preferences and experiences better than these colors. At least for now. And right now, I really couldn't be happier. That's pretty much it for my redesign. I'll probably modify it and change it again in the future, because I'm just fickle like that. So take it as the start of a new arc on my channel. But honestly, it feels so good to just draw something for yourself and incorporating everything you like in there. When I work on redesigns, I have to be mindful not to let my personal biases affect my design choices as I like to stay true to the source material. So I try to adhere to the established canon for the character as much as I can. But this was an absolute breath of fresh air for me to do, so I hope this design can bring you the same happiness it brought me. And that brings me to my third New Year's resolution. Do more of the things I enjoy. This year, I'd like to make more song covers and animatics and focus more on my original story, Wildward, which I will officially be starting soon. In case you guys didn't know, I'm currently holding a casting call for voice actors who would be interested in reading lines for the characters in my story. The application deadline is the 22nd of January, so if you are a voice actor, there's still time left to audition. The brief will be linked in my description. I have so many things planned for this year and I'm super excited to show you all. Of course, if you want early access or exclusive insight to my content, then do consider joining my Patreon and becoming a pond dweller. Some other goals I have for this year are um, start exercising regularly again, I've fallen out of my workout routine and I'm definitely not as active as I'd like to be, so I'd really like to get back into the swing of it. I have a long family history of illnesses like stroke, type 2 diabetes, hypertension, and Alzheimer's disease, which means I am personally at high risk of developing those conditions myself. So it's very important for me to maintain a healthy lifestyle if I want to lower that risk as I get older. Plus, I'd really like to get stronger and get back some of the flexibility I had when I was a teenager, so I'm not constantly hurting and creaking by the time I'm 30. My fifth resolution is to pick up photography again. Ugh, I used to love photography when I was younger, because the school I attended was a holistic school that really encouraged students to try different creative mediums. We had a whole period during 7th grade where we were doing a lot of photography and it really got me into it. It even stayed with me after I ended up going back to homeschooling. But my photography journey was unfortunately cut short after my camera got stolen. It was a devastating loss to me, and it took me a long time to consider getting a new camera because that one was so special. It was my first camera ever, and I'd taken it on all my family vacations and school projects. But recently, I bought myself a second-hand camera and realized, boy, am I out of practice. So that's something I want to relearn again. My sixth resolution is to write a song. 
just one song will suffice. I used to write songs with my classmates at that school all the time, but I've never really written one by myself. And I actually do know how to play the guitar, so I thought it might be fun to try. My seventh resolution is get organized. The end of the last year was rough. After I got sick, it basically threw all my plans and organization out the window and it was so difficult for me to get back into it. So this year I'd really like to get back to where I was before and be more efficient with my time so I'm not wasting hours just scrolling on Twitter or Pinterest or TikTok. But I don't want to get too ambitious, so those are all my goals for this year. Do you think 2023 will be better than 2022? What are you looking forward to the most this year? And most importantly, what do you think of my new avatar design and background? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for hanging out with me in the pond for a while. I hope your skin didn't get too pruney. Big shout out to my lovely pond dwellers for supporting me on Patreon. I really want to do the best for you guys and I hope we'll be able to face this new year together. If you want to see more from me, then please follow me on all my social media. If you want to submit fan art, tag me on Twitter. If you want to chat with me, join my Discord server. And if you want to see more of my stories, check out my comic and my Wild Word series here on YouTube because that will make me really happy. All the links are in my description and I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye!